Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to draw this husky, or a wolf, if you want it to be a wolf. So, I'm going to show you how to draw this. So, you're going to start by um, doing a line, kind of in the top, so like the middle is right here, you're just going to do it right above that. And then you're going to curve down just a little bit like that. And then come out for the nose. So for the mouth, you're just going to um, come in and do kind of a... Um, hill shape, upside down hill shape for his mouth. So you can put like a little line right here, like that. So for his chin, you're just gonna come down and do it kind of fluffy, and then you're gonna come like that. This doesn't look exactly like this other one the other one that I did, but that's okay. So for the chin, you're just gonna kind of do a kind of weird triangle shape. Sorry. So you're going to curve in like that, and we're going to start his nice big furry chest. So you're going to start by doing just some furry lines, making it go how you want the chest. So you're only going to do the front part first, because we need to draw the ears so we know where to come out and do the rest of his chest. So for the ears, you're just gonna do triangles, big or small, whichever you want. For the inside of it, you're just going to come in like that, come down. But instead of just going straight down, you're going to kind of come out and then come back in like that. Like that. And you can make it nice and free like that. For the other ear, you're just going to do the same thing, except you're just drawing a triangle, not drawing the outside of the ear. I mean the inside. You're just drawing the outside. So now that we have his ears done, we can choose where we want the back of his neck to be. So I made it come out a little bit, and then come straight back in and connect right here. So you can come out, do some fur, and then just come right back in, like that. So for like, if you want to, to do these markings, um, you're just going to do that. Then you're going to do kind of a bump. And then you're just going to connect it like that. Then you can color this white. And then this gray or black. Or you can color this gray and this white. Whichever you want. So for the eyes, you're just going to do... Um, kind of a V-ish shape. Like that. For the inside of the eye, 
you're just going to do a round spot like that and make him looking up that will kind of make him look So it's kind of hard. I have a, some trouble drawing this, the eye too. So kind of like that. This one he looks happier, but it's just how you make the mouth to make him look happy or sad. So for the nose, you're just going to do kind of a triangle-ish on the tip of his nose, like that. Okay, so for this part to make his muzzle look kind of 3D, you're going to just do a line like that. So then you can color in the outside, like that. And you're gonna want to make the fur lines, you're gonna want to make the lines that you're coloring with go the same way the fur is going so it looks like real fur. Then if you want to, to make it soft, you can just rub it to make the fur look soft. If you want to, you can actually color this, or you can just leave it pencil. So you can give it your dog name like Togo so I have Togo and Balto if you don't know Balto is the one that people say brought the serum to a somewhere I don't exactly know where but he brought medicine to a place where there is a really bad sickness. Like, I think it was 400 miles, maybe 200. But Balto only finished it. Togo was the one that actually did, like, most of it. Togo just brought, I mean, Balto just brought it the rest of the way when Togo couldn't do it anymore. So if you want to, you can kind of trace over the outside and make it look nice. But you don't have to if you don't want to. <clears throat> like that. Balto's fur, for some reason, looks a lot softer than Togo's fur. But... That's okay. So, thank you for watching. And please subscribe. And if you haven't seen the video of the stray kitten that we found a name that we named Skippy, um, you should go watch that. He's adorable. So, Thank you again for watching and please subscribe.